Hi everyone, I have a couple of quick tips that I wanna share with you today. Two of my favorite, so stay with me. Well, hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today I want to come to you with a quick tip actually two quick tips uh, about OneNote. So let's jump right into the computer and let's get started. All right, well, you can see here on my screen that I have a page titled Pumpkin with Leaf Quilt Block Pattern, okay? And you see here that uh, I downloaded a, um, um, a PDF file. And when that PDF file came up, I sent it to OneNote. Um, which is something that I have talked about before. Hopefully you guys know how to do that. But when it comes into OneNote, it comes in as the file itself. So you see it right here is the file. And this file I actually got from the Fat Quarter Shop, which is a quilting uh, shop that is online. And they have this free pattern. Well, I'm a very visual person and sometimes just looking at the name of the pattern does not help me at all. So tip number one, is you can go up to this file and you can click on it, right click on it and say, insert as printout. And what that will do, it will open up and print all of the pages, okay? So here you can see, here's the patchwork pumpkin pillow. I thought this was really cute uh, with a little leaf pattern in the front and it gives you all of the information, how to build the block, how to finish it off, how to make the envelope backing and all of that, okay? So I think that is really, really cute, okay? And let's see, there's another one here that is the Farm Girl Layer Cake Block, which I did the same thing. You know, I opened it, um, I went here to, uh, uh, you know, insert printout. It says refresh printout now because I already opened it. <laughs> Uh, or I can remove that printout if it's too big and I don't want it to stay, uh, you know, in my OneNote. But again, it's the same kind of thing. There's a picture of the block, all the requirements for, you know, what you need and all that kind of thing. Okay. Now, this is something that I did in April. I found this information in April, but I don't want it lost in April. I want to move it to uh, my project folder, which brings me to tip number two for today. Did you know that you can simply move uh, files not only by using the um, move or copy uh, method, which is right here, but you can also click a file. So I am just clicking the left mouse button and grabbing it. And I'm going to take it down here to projects and I'm going to drop it in projects. Now there is the farm girl layer cake block, okay? I can go back to April and I can grab that pumpkin and I can move it to projects, okay? So now there is the pumpkin and leaf quilt block pattern, okay? So that drag and drop of pages into different sections I think is fantastic. So as I'm cleaning up some of my notebooks, uh, I just wanted to share with you uh, some quick and easy tips, how to print out a PDF file and how to quickly move that page simply by dragging and dropping. All right. Well, if you've learned anything new today, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that like button and subscribe so that you can see more of our videos here at A Crystal Clear Life. I appreciate each and every one of you who likes my uh, videos, who makes a comment, who gives me encouragement, who tells me how OneNote is being used in your life. So if you want to share some of that information, go ahead and drop me a comment. I respond and read every comment uh, that you guys uh, write to me, and I really appreciate those. Okay, well, happy organizing. Here's to you, and here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye.